Well, folk is right. I mean, as you can see from the, the rag behind us, uh, we, we've always had at least like, one or two bits of folk is right gear. But the stuff we use today was Rednet, Ethernet based interface, which it's just incredibly flexible. And what I was amazed about was actually how clean the preamps were as well. Um, uh, not me, I mean, it's not surprised, but I was amazed because I, I would have thought for something that flexible there'd be a downside, but the preamps themselves have just been incredibly clean. Again, you can hear it from the track. Um, I, I'm sure you can see this as well. We already have, uh, as one of our main preamps, the ISA 828s. Massive amounts of headroom, incredibly clean, industry standard. And the ones we started with, uh, currently down here, uh, are the Focusrite Octopres, which I personally use. I have, I have the uh, Focusrite Sapphire at home. Um, so when I was just starting out, just doing home recordings in my flat, um, I just used the Sapphires and yeah, it's fine. It's, it's a very, it's a, it's a very economical for the price. It is. It's an incredible sort of set of preamps, but it's also economical for people who want to start out. So you start with the Octopre and then you move up to the ISAs, which are industry standard from, from what I've seen in other studios. I I, I look at uh, I look at other people, um, other studios on YouTube and some of the videos they post, and there's usually always one set of ISAs. Maybe not the eights, but usually the fours or one of the other ranges as well. Yeah. Your best for the S-Bot and Snow Don't